more and more people now realize that there is no such thing as competition anymore. I mean, we live in a big, wide world now with 8 billion people <laughs> already just a few days yeah. ago. So, we, you know, there's always uh, business to be had. There's always, uh, you know, a source of living for everyone. It's, I think the buzzword now is really collaboration, Co right? Collaboration and being conscious of a lot of things now. Mm -hmm helping each other. I think that the, it, it's leading towards that because let's face it, the past three, four decades, uh, competition, fast fashion, I mean, uh, well, putting it simple, parang sino mauna, should, that's the best supposedly. Yeah. Because that's, the, that's yeah. really the but essence of fashion, fashion, right? Yeah, but it's not sustainable because eventually you'll end up with so many, for example, fast fashion right now, our biggest problem right now is the dumping of Absolutely. unused clothes. Absolutely. So, yeah. uh, in other words, it's not sustainable, and for me, it's a waste. And the one, and that's a problem right now. In fact, a lot of the ukai ukai we get here is being dumped here because it cannot be sold in China. And that's a that's that's why I see a major shift, uh, higher consciousness of being more responsible in our in our even our consumption. So it's not only protecting the environment, but even consumption habits have to change. And that's why we're we're here, we're in this thing of uh, slow fashion, you know. Slow fashion. Slow fashion. A bit slower. <laughs> what, what what does slow fashion exactly mean? Well, when you look at the the production process, it's not uh, unlike before. It's all mass production and you know coming up with so much inventory because it was it's cheap it's cheap when you produce a lot, diba? Right? Would you say because of uh, slow fashion? Would you say that your design sensibility is more? classic rather than trend that's would, correct would you say that yes that's just one aspect okay but you have to consider also the you know the, the material content so for me uh, the, the way to go is really more on the natural mm -hmm. it's fr of course it's friendlier to the environment mm -hmm. I mean I can prove that uh, to you with the data but more than that it's more in the conscious of being you know just enough for let's say for society for, for a group of people walang sobrang wastage because you know let's face it the fashion industry it's not only the pollution but the excess production that's not being used or not being sold every year year in year out I think one of the reasons why uh, people throw away their clothes their shirts their pants is because it easily creases it easily gets torn yeah. it easily gets uh, you know uh, uh, you know uh, what do you call that discolored and all of that yes. stuff so they, they they feel like they don't need it anymore because you know it, it looks uh, raggedy and all that stuff so how, maybe maybe part of the design uh, of your clothes are to avoid all of those yeah. uh, defects so to speak yeah I think uh, a lot of a lot of do a lot of the things that uh, resulted of that is also marketing mm. by these big brands yes of course yeah so it created that uh, excess mentality and mm. I always had to have that the latest and the best but mm. when you come to think of it you don't really need to a changing mindset that's a gargantuan task sir. Uh, well <laughs> education it starts yeah. with education that's exactly, why yeah. our discussion right now yeah. Yeah. hopefully will open maybe a lot of people will not agree what I'm saying but what I'm saying is that we just have to open our minds and be more responsible and our consumption, whether it's whether it's clothing or food, same thing.